All right. In this session, we are going to see how we can pass the parameters from the command line. Okay. So remember, when we are running, we are simply using npm test hyphen hyphen env equal to qa. So what is happening internally? So this env is stored under the npm config env variable and we are accessing it, we are fine. We have still dependency. Sometimes I want to So we can send the information using the class env. Okay. So now what we will do, we will reboot this dependency as well. Because if you remember when you are running this particular npm run npm test hyphen hyphen env. So we are doing some hack and we got this value. Okay. We will all remove this particular also, this particular um, dependency also. Okay. So how do we send that information? Okay. We'll see that. So go to your package adjacent. Okay. So here I will add cross env. Okay. C-R-O-S-S hyphen env. Here I will say browser equal to Chrome. Browser equal to Chrome. And we'll pass some additional information. Okay. Uh, env equal to QA. Okay. Env equal to uh, stage upward. Anything is fine. Let's say QA. Any other information, let's say name equal to, let's say equality tech, equality tech, equality tech. Okay. City equal to, let's say Hyderabad. Why I'm passing these things? Just to show you that we are able to pass it from the command line and we can retrieve it also. That is the reason I'm adding extra variables. City is Hyderabad. Okay. So now we'll try to keep the debug point here okay so now let's try to run it okay so this time when we are running npm we'll put the debug point here only because we don't have npm config now npm test okay we are not passing any other information so hit enter Okay, I think we made a mistake. Go to your, this should be ENV, right? It should be ENV. Okay, CLS and run one more time, NPM test. Okay, so now go to debug console. We are able to see all this information. See here, process dot env. Okay, dot env. QA. Same thing, let's say name. You can see equality. Let's say city. You are getting this value, right? Same thing, browser. That means we are getting everything from the command line right now should we need to say uh, npm coffee in uh, npm config env no, not needed what you can do simply process dot env dot env okay copy this and just paste it over here this is done or else if you confusing dot env two times go to your packet adjacent say that environment 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 copy this Go to your library and simply say that environment. This is done. Similarly, we can also pass the browser also because we are already specifying the browser. Yes, we are done. Right? But question again coming, right? If something is coming from this, but we are not passing from the command line, right? Okay. So see here now, what I will do? CLS. I will remove this part. I will remove this part. Say control X, control X npx okay npx everything will remain same okay here i will say npm test okay now let's see what will happen okay so let's try running it hit enter
So it is loading the variables. Okay. Now see here. Let's try to evaluate this. Right click and evaluate it. You can see QA is coming. That means QA will be loaded. The browser, whatever the user is passing, what is the user is passing now? Chrome. That means Chrome should launch. See here. Okay. Any any variable, whatever we are passing, for example, name, right? Name. See equal detect. Same thing, city. However. So we are simply passing from the terminal. At runtime, you can decide which browser you want to work with, which environment you want to work with, any additional parameters that you have, where you are accessing in the framework. These are all additional information I am passing so that, you know, just to, to test that, okay, everything is working fine. Just to show you that anything we can send it from the command line. Okay. So yeah, if you run it, it will launch the Chrome browser and formality will remain same, right? So it will continue to the execution in the, uh, or we can say Chrome browser and then finishes the execution. But only thing I'm just thinking is in the framework level, we have added the parameters, right? When you are generating the HTML report, let's see what is happening over there. Let it be finished. Fine, it is generating the report. Okay. Okay, it is generated successfully. You could see here. Go back to your reports. Open this. Now you're able to see this particular uh, browser is Chrome, is good, but the application URL is blank. So we need to fix this. So go to process.env.browser. We are good. Go back to your index. Okay. So this is wrong, right? Because we are not using from the we are not using from the env right so we are just using from where go to your this one it is going to be environment come over here fix it that's it we are done so if you rerun one more time if you rerun one more time everything will be fixed so now we are sending the parameters from the command line okay the same thing we are applying over there so let's see this time everything should come up ISTs with no issues and we'll try to change the environment size well. Let's see what will happen. So Chrome. So it is generating the report. It has generated. Open your bootstrap result. So now you could see we are getting the exact values. Let's try if it is working for any other. We don't need this city and all, right? Just for the testing purpose, we have added. Now I want to launch uh, dev environment. And I want to test this in the edge. Okay. Edge. Now hit enter. Now dev environment uh, variable should be loaded. And along with the browser edge. Let's see what will happen. Okay, you can see edge is launched. That means it is working fine. We are good over here. Okay, awesome. The cross env is working very well for us. But I will show you one thing because when we are writing any code, make sure that we handle negative part as well. So let the finish, let the execution be finished. Okay, so it is generating the report. Let's see.
it is generated. Refresh your this one. You can see browser is edge. Now, what was the issue I was talking about? For example, if the user does not, you know, didn't send anything. In this case, let's see what will happen. We, we did not pass anything. We simply said npx cross env and then npm test. Now let's see what will happen over here. You can see getting failed. Yeah, obviously, right? Because this particular, this will be undefined. env dot undefined may not be available and many things will come. Okay. So now how do we handle that? It's simple. Just we can add some additional check saying that, okay, if nothing is sent, use the Chrome. Okay. If nothing is sent, use the QA version. Okay. CLS and try running it and see what will happen now. If I understand correctly, we should launch the QA with Chrome browser. You can see browser is Chrome and the environment is QA. Awesome. It is working fine. Okay. Like this, you can implement in your project by using the cross env node module. Okay. So let the execution be finished. Done. Awesome. Okay. So like this, you can implement in your project. Thanks for watching. See you in the next lecture.